This episode brought to you by the Consensual Tree Sex Society, and they'd like you to know that not all tree fornication is rape. Hey everybody, we're watching The Evil Dead and you're listening to Miscast Commentary. You are. <laughs> you're listening to Miscast Commentary. Two guys have seen way too many movies and have way too much time on their hands. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Now here's your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Everybody, how we doing? Welcome to Miscast Commentary. I'm Joe Findlay. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. And your October of awesomeness continues as we bring you another horror classic, but, Sam Raimi's Evil Dead. Well, yes, the Evil this Dead. is a Evil classic. Um, yeah, we've been... I've been, wait, I've been waiting to do this one. I try, I've been trying to ease up on the horror movies through the rest of the year so that I don't use up all the good ones right. for, like, you know, use them for October when it matters the most. Did you notice now, I don't know if you're going to put them in the same order, but we, we just did a double header. Yes. This being the double head yes. of that double this header. This is the second head. Yeah. And uh, both movies are essentially like the same kind of thing, trapped in a house. Mm-hmm. While things yeah, we are did attacking. trapped in the, we did trapped in the closet yeah, earlier. Then we did Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> yeah, and now we're doing Evil Dead. So here we go. Might as well just get started. Well, with I it. agree. So only one way to do that, and that is to press play now. Here we go. I'm actually Classic muted shirt. through this whole episode, so that's gonna oh, be really yeah. pleasant. Wait, I only like to get sued once a night. Yeah, Jesus. You know. Um. So Sam Raimi. Uh, well known for doing the Spider-Man movies and things like that, uh, but back then, back here, he was basically like as amateur as you can get, and you can see by the quality I, of. I know, but I mean, like, I think he made some shots up or something. Well, like, they've done I, some every fucking thing in these movies is like yeah. from that thing's perspective, and the camera yeah. angles are so wicked. Yeah. Well, in doing my uh, research on that. this, you know, this shot was actually done by, it's literally the camera's just on a two by four yep. and Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi are just on either side of it. Yep. Running, just, like, walking, walking through the woods. Through. Yep. Uh, I've got an interesting one for you for the end. I don't know if you know how they did the shot of the, the fast one that goes up to, uh, uh right, Bruce, right. And I've got, look at him. I might actually look, look at, at that. Look unibrow. at the chin on him. Here, my favorite thing, I think though, he grew into his chin. Like, he hasn't grown into it yet. We, you may have just heard my dog yelp because she just pissed off the cat. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. But, yeah, he didn't grow into his chin. But it's funny because he, like, went to school with uh, Sam Raimi, and he was friends with Ted Raimi and all that stuff. And they used to make Tapert. movies together and stuff. And tape, like, all that. But they used to make movies together, just, like, shitty little movies. He became the actor because, like, they considered, like, he was the good-looking one. Right. I was like, I kind of disagree. <laughs> Nah, Especially on, the, the rugged. Well, well, the, yeah, but like back then, like look at him. He just doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. He, I just. I'm not. I like how they're it. singing. They're having such an innocent, wonderful. We're going to the cabin. Who sings when they're in a pickup? Look truck? at the map he's using. It looks like a like a yeah. like a picture out of an old like kids book. Oh no, that looks like a road <laughs> yeah. map. I guess there's, there's some roads and shit. I saw Waldo. There. Yeah. <laughs> that that didn't that I know because like that look... map is like he's literally looking at a mountain range and just kind of faking his way through it. mm Hmm. Oh, yeah, you had to press your face up against the window to scream like that. Yeah, for sure. These are, like, these are the ultimate classics of horror movies, though. As low budget as humanly possible. How much? Uh, this was a $350,000 movie. That's it. Which I think was more expensive than Halloween, if I'm thinking that. I think you but, might like, be right. But that being said, it's still, like, really... <laughs> I know. It's This is 1981. They've been just standing there waving for days. Oh, for sure. Like, he's... They, Oh, we got a rumble going on out here, buddy. They're getting all yeah. worked up, all this dead, all this dead talk. Yeah, but yeah, this is 1981, so compared to you know like Halloween, Look, which is a bit earlier. But he's drinking out of the mason moment. jar. I love that. That's got to be that's like my shine. favorite glass to drink out of. I like that people were smart enough to just drill the hole in the top of the mason jar lid, and then you just stick that straw through there. Yeah. Stuff like that, but not a plastic straw, guys. That's like a thing now. That yep. I wasn't. I'm big on it too. You gotta I, get rid of those things. I was. I I'm on it now, but it's like I was so 
ignorant of the straws. Like I had heard about like the plastic can things and all that. Like yeah. I heard about all those other things, but they're like, no straws are what's doing it. And I'm like, Oh, come on. Don't make me have an open container of pop. No, they have, around. but there you can get are, the paper that's right. straws. You can get the paper ones. They still work just as fine. Paper. Yeah. Paper straws They'll are good as long down. as you don't like let them sit in the, the movie. Liquid for a year. The movie needs to, the movie theater needs to get on that. McDonald's said by next year or something, they're going to phase mm-hmm. them out. And W Oh yeah! Once I saw that video, that poor fucking sea turtle getting a straw pulled out of his nostril, like, oh my god! Oh, sea turtle, they live too long. Anyways. Oh my jeez, so, like, he was really 150 years old. The, yeah. the poor deer. Like this car has made it through every movie, and he still <laughs> drives it in Ash versus Evil Dead. Have you seen uh, Ash versus Evil no, Dead? We we had this conversation. Oh, god, we like, had, we need to have it more. I only ago. ask you this again and again because you need to watch it because it's yes. fucking awesome. I know, I know, but I, we've literally not have time for me to watch it because we just had a quick break between movies. Your excuses are your own. <laughs> yeah. Are your own. Yeah. Yeah. I went and had a smoke. You could have watched the movie. <laughs> yeah, like my god. I read the fucking Coles Notes version or something. This cabin was literally just an abandoned cabin that they found in the middle of nowhere. They made sure nobody was living there. Is it this hasn't... really the place you're going to go? Like, I'd show yeah. up and be like, oh, for, I'm sleeping in the car. Like, fuck yeah. that. It yeah. looks evil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah there's I the old the bench hitting the fucking wall. <laughs> the sound is kind of just weird about it. Like, you can tell that that's somebody doing, like, bad yeah. folly. It's yeah, not, something, something's going on It's not sound captured there. on set. Well, because it doesn't even look like it's hitting it. You don't even see it hitting the, you know what I mean? Yeah, but in addition to, so this, like, this place was just a legit abandoned place. There's no plumbing. There's nothing like that. This is where everybody lived while how, shooting the how movie. How long did it take? Uh, I didn't, I didn't see how long it took. It was a few weeks anyways, though. Um... But the, uh, but yeah, literally the entire cast and crew slept like I mean, almost all of them slept in one room. So what, none did of they, them did bathed they just their shit in the woods. Yeah, I guess. Uh, none of them were bathed or showered ever. They were constantly fighting. Like it really, was just a, yeah. Well, because you're oh, all trying. Like, Jesus, yeah, you're stuck in this bullshit yeah. cabin. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know what? It's all worth the sacrifice, man. This movie's gonna stand the test of time. Yeah, it's a, it's gonna be a horror classic for fucking ever. See, and my biggest disappointment in it is was essentially oh. that Sam Raimi remade it like a couple of years later yeah i'm not the big we, we you know we didn't we didn't say it to these people so it's, no. it's new to them but yeah i'm not the biggest fan of like goofy yeah. horror yeah i don't like the genres mixing like i mean there's a way yeah. you can make funny scenes in horror movies and it's still yeah be cohesive but number two is just like a fucking goof fest yeah. and it's the exact same movie yeah except for in the end a portal opens up and sucks him in yeah exactly is like I've got to set you up for this silly movie. You, that we're they could do have later. literally just filmed that and then come out with another version of Evil Dead with a- extra bonus footage at the end or something. You know what I would have done? Yeah, I would and have either re-released Army of Darkness. I would have re-released the original one and just changed the ending, or do that Rocky thing. You know where you show the like the last five minutes yes. of the previous movie and you in, do that right in the Army of Darkness. They could yeah. have done that. Yeah, and then you're like, okay, yeah. I'm on board. When the thing comes through and hits him at the end, he goes flying into a portal. Yeah. Or that's the tra- or that's the teaser trailer for yeah. the next movie is you see the last minute and you're like, oh, are they making another Evil Dead? Then it gets sucked up into a portal and you're like, whoa, what's yeah, that? Yeah, like, what the fuck? Is he going to the quantum realm? And then, oh my God. <laughs> and yeah, him, the, him, him and Ant-Man. The dirt sheets, everybody's looking, <laughs> trying to figure it out. Oh, I got some dirty sheets for you. Oh God, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, just anything now, man. Because I've seen horror movies now. Any of these kind of buildings just freak the fuck out of me. Yeah. Especially of like fucking Texas Chainsaw Decorator <sighs> hanging fucking bones and dead animal shit everywhere. <laughs> exactly. I just, whatever I find, I hang it up. Yeah, like Why? Other kids. Because I don't have a garbage yeah, can. Dolls or any, you know, mm-hmm. feng shui or uh, interior design. Yeah. So uh, Sam Raimi's filmography, some things that maybe fewer people know that he was involved in. Because, I mean, again, everybody knows he did the Spider-Man movies. Everybody knows he did this and he's involved in, you know, the other Evil Dead movies, Army of Darkness. And then he's got involvement of Ash vs. Evil Dead. He directed an episode of Ash vs. Evil Dead, too. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, he directed the very first one of season one. Oh, was it the first one? Because okay. when I was watching the show, I was like, this has got to be by them. That makes sense. And it was like, oh, God, it's so great. I need to see season three. Oh, yeah. There's but, a sister, right? I think yeah. that's a sister. Yeah, now. I believe you're right. Uh, but the... Um, see, that even that felt like kind of Beetlejuice stop motion to me. Oh, everything in this movie is kind of Beetlejuice stop motion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the... Um, but yeah, anyway, some of the other movies that Sam Raimi did, he was a uh, director of Darkman, oh, uh, yeah. the, the Quick and the Dead, A Simple Plan, The Gift, 
uh, Drag Me to Hell, Oz the Great and Powerful, which I totally forgot he did. Never saw it. It's not great. Uh, Join us. Yeah, he was actually considered to direct Batman Forever. He was considered for End of Days and for the the last Pirates of the Caribbean movie, Dead Man no Tales. Yeah. He was so, considered for it. Yes, he was yeah, considered. He so he was on it. He was on a list. What's he? What's he got? I know he came with Evil Dead again. What? What else? You got anything else going on? Well, he's a he huge producer. On... If you look on his IMDb for producer, he's a that's producer where you make the real on... money. Oh yeah, that's where you make the real Hollywood money. But he was a producer on so many shows. He's the creator of Xena and uh, Hercules. Well, like the offshoot of Hercules. This is exactly and... how I did all my art projects in school. Yeah, I just let the devil take me. You know, I just went my left foot. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, we, we just convinced my team. I never, he never saw me move anything, but my left foot is Todd would wheel me into yep. art class. Yeah. He had no, not a clue. He'd even see you out of your yeah. wheelchair and everything. And it wouldn't yeah. even put it together. Yeah. I was on the wrestling team yet. He was like, yeah. Hey. But then he saw my He's like, Joe, why don't you get that kid in the wheelchair? that don't use yeah. left foot to join the wrestling team. I like yeah. his moxie. I like it. Uh, and, but like, when, I'll try to but when you him. looked at my record, it would look like, it looked like the record of somebody who was only using their <laughs> left foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah they got the old blood blender going on oh god that's basically the rest of the movie is, is just that? them taking the lid off that and turning yeah. it on frappe like my god this movie this the blood budget on this movie alone was probably a hundred grand oh my god they said several times the mix of the they used like a syrup and all this different stuff to uh make the blood and there was one time i guess because it's so cold on set uh, he had to take a, he took off that shirt just because it felt gross. But then when he had to put it back uh, on, it had solidified yep. when he put it by the fire and he went to put it on and it broke. Oh, nice. Like it just his it shirt shattered. Broke. Yeah. Like T-1000. Whoa. What the fuck? This is, I, wish, I wish somebody done. could have seen that. We should. Wow. That was uh, like you. You just proved to me that you're a superhero I'm a and you just Jedi. blew it right there. Yeah. You know, when you do one of those crazy grabs. Yeah. Exactly. You know, like in Spider-Man directed by him when he's like, oh, grab the yeah. tray, grab all the things falling. Exactly. I'm just a regular guy. <laughs> Look at me. Wow. What a lucky circumstance yeah. this was. Uh, this place didn't have a cellar. So they had to shoot the cellar stuff at a different location. Cellar dwellers. They, yeah, this one because they yeah they they this was not dug into the ground. Another interesting thing, I guess this place burned down after the uh, after the movie came out. Right. And then people were like, they were like, oh, because they did this like satanic movie or something. And right. Blah, 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 it was struck by lightning. Blah blah. blah. And then they came out like years later that Sam Raimi just had it burned down. Yeah. He was just like burned it down. But so what guess. was interesting was people came looking because they buried. Um, a time capsule, like the cast and crew buried a time capsule there. And then, um, the chimney, because you know how when places burn down, just the chimneys left, which yes. makes sense. Uh, people, some super fans found the place no. and found the time capsule. Oh, that would have been so awesome. Yeah, that would have been cool. I think though, that's maybe why... not for them. Cause isn't the idea they go back and open it up later? Yeah. Well, yeah. But to me, uh, yeah, no, that is the point of it. But, um, <laughs> kind of like, oh, fuck. yeah, to me though, it's. Like, I want to know exactly when in the process he burnt the place down. Like, was he so just like, he finishes shooting and just nailed it. And then like, let's yeah, burn it to the done. ground. Cause this is going to be so huge that people are going to be flocking to it. Like, right. Freaking no, land. no, no. Probably cause but, they were so smelly in there from them yeah. living in there and shitting in the corner that they, yeah. they only, they did the only proper thing, which yeah. is to burn it. My biggest hope when I hear about these stories and like you hear about very similar uh, camaraderie and like and working close together is Lord of the Rings. Yes. And it, despite the fact that it was this giant thing and people weren't living all in one spot, but they were spending every waking moment together. They yeah, were like forever. Going, they were going everywhere together. They're eating. You would think you like you would want to separate yourself a little bit, but I guess just for the actor experience too, of like, you have to seem like these people have been or something together. Right. You got to do these things, but they were just constantly hanging out and you, you get that kind of like amateur, uh, you know, like low budget movie feel to that camaraderie. Then to hear about this one, I was just like, well, I guess maybe the only um positive of this was maybe a bunch of them had like sex all at once. Ooh, like they had a little yeah, orgy, big going. orgy, a borgy. Hey guys, we're all young and hot. Let's we fuck. got nothing else to do. <laughs> got to take our clothes off anyways. It's so hot. Might as well make For it sure. just a little bit hotter. Yeah, and fornicate. They were saying too, I guess that uh, is he wearing like uh, what the fuck? Uh, yeah. He's got uh, he's got a lot of Jordash. On. Yeah, that's probably why his name's Ash. Yeah, he looks like he's wearing like moccasins or something. Yeah. Those little moccasin ones. Now call me dumb. I never knew his name is Ashley. Oh my god, 
Ashy Slashy. His name's Ashley Williams. Yeah. is his name. I just they call him Ash, and I just figured his name was Ash, right? Like Arthur Ash, and all these different things. I was like, okay, cool, that's Ash, great. Maybe the first time they ever say it is in a- Ash versus Evil Dead because somebody calls him yeah. Ashley. Oh, really? That's probably uh, the only reason that I didn't, you know, just be like, what? It's a good guy. <laughs> I'm used. To, I'm usually trying to blow your mind. The sister, that was kind of disappointed. You usually do. Yeah. The sister said the only good, look at this fucking, he's going like to light his damn hand on fire. Yeah, I know. His fucking sister was like, I don't like sellers. Let's just close the thing up and be on our weekend here. And I was yeah. like, you know what? Great plan. Although mm-hmm. you should probably go down and check it out because what if there's some homeless guy down yeah. there who's going to come up and kill it? Jesus. I legit, I always want... There's not even any toilets. Like, where the fuck is this running from? Yeah. I always want every horror movie because you know how there's always... Oh, the, God. There's always the person who's like, why don't they just do this? It would have ended the movie right away. Right. Type thing. They should always shoot that. what you want to pay that. for? You should <laughs> always shoot that and put it on the DVD or something like right, that. Right, just for shit. You call it... I don't on, like the look of this cabin. Yeah. Let's go back home. You okay. Call, call them alternate beginnings. <laughs> <laughs> and I like it's that. Just like I think that would be Credits a really roll. fun thing where it's like, oh my god, there's this guy named Freddy and he's killing people in your dreams. Oh, I'm a lucid dreamer. I'll take care of this. He goes to sleep and he wakes up. I killed him in my he's dream. Dead. He's dead now. Sweet. <laughs> do 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 do. Then the credits roll. Yeah. Hey, camp counselors, treat that deformed fella nice. It looks like he's drowning. Get him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you save that kid. And just you Too just busy have a, banging and snorting coke off each other. The but then, fucking degenerates. Yeah, and then you put the regular credits in, and then they're just going up with, with the same eerie music and all True, that. No, three times the credits. You're like, hey, didn't uh, I just see the same thing yeah. before? Son of a bitch. Um, like when you finish a video game, and you're forced to watch the credits, and you're like, holy fuck! I know. Like, I just want to get to the beginning so I can use all the weapons, you know, or whatever you get. You know, when you bit, you're like, Jesus! <laughs> For this is the sure. biggest seller ever. Like, they got down there, and the seller's like... Yeah, it's very long. Oh, yeah. there's a Hills Have Eyes poster. Yeah. They did that because there was a in the ripped Jaws poster in the other in another movie. Yeah. No, they did it apparently uh, in... I think it's Nightmare on Elm Street or yeah. one of Wes Craven's movies. Yes. Before this one, they're watching Evil Dead. Oh, interesting. So as a little... Huh? There's a little piece of trivia for you. There you go. So as like a little wink to him, they put that poster yeah. up there. I have that. I had that information, but I didn't have all of the exact details. Oh, I you're sure you did. Out. No, I, I had read. That's why I brought up the beginning part. If, but, if uh, they had a real Necronomicon, I'd, yeah. I'd buy. I don't mean like the real one. Like if it yeah, did yeah. something, no fucking way. But, but one if when you open like, the pages and it had all the pictures like this and I told everybody. Oh, I got one. news for you. This definitely exists. It somewhere. does, eh? Well, I have the, or had... I don't know. Maybe I still do have it. I don't know. But I had the uh, special edition of this, which is the Necronomicon, and some of the pages are in that. Oh, before I've you seen get that to like yeah, the, yeah. It's cool, but again, it just screws up your nice, clean yes, it does. DVDs and Blu-rays. And it, I find it so bothersome. We've talked about it before on here. <laughs> it's just, but, you get your OCD a little bit, eh, right? You're, oh. you're fucking like, I know what you mean. But it's well, it's like when you have like those big box sets. Yeah, the Nakatomi Tower Die Hard box set is awesome, but it fucks up my thing. It doesn't fit on my shelf. So I got to put some of my DVDs somewhere right. else. Fuck that noise. That you can sort of see it here. It's oh. harder. It would be easier on the big screen, but the moon was never in any of these shots. They did a mat of the ah. moon. So you can actually see a square of outline around it where they literally just cut out a picture of the moon and stuck it on there. Nice. And uh, Stephen King did a review for this and gave this a glowing review and said that he noticed that. And he's like, it's a, it's a bit of a low budget charm of the movie though. Yeah, it is. I and agree. So he liked this movie. Eh? Oh, he loved this movie. It's great. Yeah. He's actually one of the people, cause uh, we talked about uh, in uh, night of the living dead, how it was banned in Germany. This was also banned in Germany. Uh, I'm assuming for it's kind of Satan, Satanism style of stuff right but the um i love that they're all sitting around i want this to be coming out of a teddy ruxpin down in or, an, or the awesome or that's something what we used right to, i may have told this story before but that's what we used to do when my grandfather lived in arizona he would send back tapes instead of letters so we could all hear his voice right that's um, a cool idea I like that and so like because it would be when it was just kind of like for updates and stuff like that he would send one tape and we would all like because we would get together like every weekend pretty much the whole family so we would all sit there and we'd put it inside the teddy ruxpin or the alf and then we would so all gather around talking. him and then he'd be talking to you it was the best that sounds right i like it's that. what it's one of my best childhood memories i really like that actually um 
But yeah, I think wouldn't that be hilarious listening to this coming out of that? Oh my lord. I really like the explanation of this too. So sweet and simple. Yeah. They go to the basement, they find the book. The book really yeah. changes over the years mm-hmm. too, right? Like it looks yeah. pretty cheap there, but it's yeah. still got the face and everything on it. But yeah, but I like that. Find the tape, buy into crack it. the tape open. Buddy read it before, and mm-hmm. now here they come. Yeah. Um a major director had involvement uh in Brian this DePalma. movie. No. You you took a similar stab because I I made the mistake of thinking it was in the previous movie, but it's actually in this movie. And you took a stab in that one too. But the uh, no uh, Joel Cohen is like an assistant or, uh, editor on oh, this movie. Oh fuck! I knew that shit. Did you? Oh sorry. I know a lot of trivia about this movie yeah. actually. Nice. Fuck. Yeah, I would Fucking say of of all movies, one. this is definitely your yeah. This is your wheelhouse. Yeah, this one is. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a fucking good one. Mm-hmm. Kanda Kalima. I, I never remember whenever it's chant stuff, I never remember it. And then I'll hear something and I'm like, what is that from? And it's like the only one I remember is from the Beatles help and they go, Kaili <laughs> and they run at each other. I, it's the only we one I remember. We should mix the whole thing remember. together from all our movies Kalima, and every time. Kaili. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like the whole thing. Stop the blood. You say that three t- if you, you say that three times. Oh, for something sure. happens to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something wonderful. Yeah. Apparently, um, I didn't. I don't know much about this. Again, I'm not a big comic book guy. But they did the Marvel Zombies series, right? And I read one of them because a buddy of mine said you got to check it out. So I read one issue of it, and it was pretty interesting. But I'm trying to find. Is this such a like a garbage transfer that I can't see the matting around the moon? I think it looks I'm good. To look for it's it good looks. Oh, it looks fine here. But I'm th- I'm picturing like seeing see it on the, the big, big screen, screen. It probably looks like you could see. Tape. Like, look at this shot. For God's sake, it's all blurred out. I know. Yeah. That's it, like oh, the, the little look, camera. Look at, the, look at the fucking like um, Mexicali uh, <laughs> fucking. Uh, he should have a long mustache. unibrow he's got going on oh, there. He looks just like a straight up oh, Greek. Oh, here we go. He is a Greek god. Yeah. Oh yeah. But um, <laughs> he's gonna hook her up with a little bling bling so we can get a piece of ass. Oh, that's how you do it. Um, you can't see her nipples through that sweater. <laughs> but the um, it's a cashmere. <laughs> Ooh. But the, uh, yeah, anyway, so the Marvel. Uh, she can't even help herself. Look at her. Of course. But the Marvel zombie series, they actually explain. What the hell was that shot? Uh, <laughs> I do not care yeah, for Get that. ready. They're just getting you ready. Yeah, that's a macro, baby. Uh, they're just getting but you ready. I like the idea of, uh, like, in in the Marvel zombie series, they actually made it that Ash is responsible for all of the Marvel superheroes oh, no becoming way. zombies. They said there was, like, some kind of alternate universe where he did something wrong, and then it kills all of them. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. I love that they brought Ash into the Marvel universe. Yeah. I don't know what the point was. Or if they just like, like, I don't know what it was, but that that sounds to me like it's one of those things where, like, you know, where like Brian Posehn or like Paul yeah. Shear or somebody wrote for like Deadpool and they just come with something way out of the box and they're like, could we do that? Like, legally speaking, could we do that? Yeah, ask like, oh, them. Yeah, out. ask them. Well, they also needed an excuse why they all turned into zombies, right? Quick, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the thing this was actually a huge deal this necklace originally because in the original part of the script they used this thing to burn the necronomicon you know that's exactly what if i was watching this for the first time yeah that shot of it i would have totally guessed that at some point he was going to be in the end half dying yeah. and being killed and the necklace falls perfectly so that the light from the sun hits yeah. it and then burns the book or something so like i would have you know i would have figured, figured the house or something yeah like or that, something yeah. to burn the house down yeah. and then yep that so was totally maybe, the kind of setup shot yeah, it was well. Is that and misdirection? Is that what that was? No, no. It's they've shot the whole movie with that intention and then changed the uh, ending. And so then they were like, "Then it the, is yeah. unintentional misdirection, dirty yeah, pervert, pretty much. demon." Yeah, <laughs> that wanking more than one dick yeah. out there too. This like Fucking wind sound that you're hearing through the movie too. There's this creepy wind sound. That's the monster. This is little. No, but it's literally a sound that was just coming from uh, uh, Sam Raimi's window. Like he was hearing this wind. What? I don't know. I don't know. Like the situation. They didn't of, do anything to it. It sounds like they no. had a little chanting thing or something. No, I don't know what the, like his, the situation. Like if he was like in a, like oh. a narrow. Oh, hello. titties. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like if he was like living between That's his sister, two. Right? Like if he was his window and then another building there right and then like wind and passing making, through uh, or, oh no, that's but he said it was really creepy so he just that looks like joan cusack uh, kind of does eh? yeah but it was yeah he just like started recording it immediately he's like we have to use this and even that join us that was coming through the window too mm-hmm. 
That's probably why they burned the cabin down because they yeah. really there is a real Necronomicon and they yeah. used it. Oh, for sure. To summon demons because sure. the movie was so low budget. They're like, yeah. we can't afford to make them. Why don't we just use real demons? Yeah. Well, even for the uh, chanting bit that they just did when they were all sitting around listening to the tape there, they were originally supposed to be all high uh, during it. So they all got high and shot it and they had to reshoot it because they were all too high. And oh, they, they got stoned not, for real. Yeah, they all got stoned for uh, real and they were just like, they were just like unmanageable human <laughs> beings. Like, Fucking kids running around, eh? Making a movie with starring animals and children. Well, that's pretty much what it is, right? Yeah, just go right out there into the woods and ask, is anybody out there? Nobody's been murdered yet. If you're the first person to get murdered, I find it totally reasonable It's to acceptable. Because... To wander in your... Don't even tell anybody you're going outside. Mm-hmm. Just start walking. It could be anything. Well, you're just assuming I it's used a to feel kid. I legit used to feel this way about the... Like, when we were at the cottage. Oh, fuck yeah. Like, it was just like, and I mean, you didn't have a safer environment. You were surrounded by other families and proper I scared the shit out of me. Like, it was just like. It was freaky. Yeah. I've seen too many horror movies at that point. I'm all yeah. fucked. <laughs> I can't take a shower without looking at the doorknob. I'm not fucked enough is the problem. I can't. Dude, I, I, I have such a ridiculous, like, irrational fear from horror movies. Yeah. I will swim in a pool alone and think <laughs> something is in there with me. Yeah. Well, you're right. It is. But you know what I'm saying? I can't swim. Shark. Can't yeah. do anything. Can't go to the Fuck. hood. Can't wow. go to space. Yeah. I said, can't go under water. Yeah. I just, can't yeah, be can't, around plants. Horror movies are what's keeping you from space. <laughs> I, like that. I was going to go to exactly. Kazakhstan and just fly up to the ISS the for fuck, a couple man? weeks, but then, no, saw Carnosaur in space. And Here I is, oh my God, Carnosaur. I was oh trying to think of, oh my God. I was uh, listening to a podcast about Jason X today, and then they were talking about all the shitty movies that did space like they talked about oh, leprechaun fuck. in space and all this stuff and i was like nobody's talking about carnosaur in space oh my god exactly this is the time you run lady yeah is this the first tree rape i believe so i actually this is like the hottest scene ever this is like I, tentacle porn she now kind of looks like jennifer gray but um she just she is she's a rorschach person she is who i need her to be at the moment um <laughs> I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't let Joan Cusack get fucked by a tree, but Look at she, knocking the trees down yeah. and everything. Jennifer Grey, I'll let it happen. Um, I actually like because I saw uh, like a clip or it was something from the uh, oh fuck, or something from like the trailer or something that may I had forgotten completely that this scene existed in this movie. Oh yeah, oh, it's totally fine. Again, we just had a tentacle porn not situation. Consensual. Not consensual. Not cool trees. Not nah. cool at all. We were just discussing you tentacle porn asked. a few weeks ago. Oh, we're always discussing tentacle porn. Yes. Oh, that's when she came. Yeah. Oh, frig. Oh, it's going to mean she got a couple layers on I here. was just going to say. Yeah. I was like, she got two she 90s did. on just in case one gets ripped open in a tree rape situation. Yeah. Well, it looked like it was made of burlap. So yeah, you want to <laughs> You want a base layer. Right. I like that weird buggy noise. These effects are so. I I genuinely believe. I genuinely believe that those cuts are probably real yeah. cuts because everybody said nobody was happy with Sam Raimi during making this. Movie. Really? Well, because he was not a pro, and he would make the more crazy hours, and it was an unsafe condition. Well, it was one it of the. It's an independent movie, Matt. Well, it's but it's an independent movie, but you even like like real indie directors and stuff like that still know how to keep their people safe, right? Oh. Oh, she's like, no, not my nipple. Oh, titty. <laughs> not kind of a, not, not an ideal titty. That's fine. That's not wrong with it. I don't want the branches around it. Don't get me wrong, but what's happening? Oh, oh. here we go. This is how Jason X or I have a fright. Or what was it? Um, oh, nice last... shot. Oh, oh, bam. There it is. That's yeah. the inset. The insemination yeah. of demonness. This is how Jason goes to hell, where Jason is reborn. This is how it happens. That's not a bad way of explaining Jason going back either. The Necronomicon. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. If they, that would be amazing. If that's how they, because they tried to do Freddy, Freddy versus, versus Jason, Jason versus, versus Ash. Ash. That would have totally made sense. Yep. And you know what would have been actually interesting if they would have tied this moment to that. Like you find out that this yep. is right around the corner from Crystal and Maybe Lake. because Freddie's been, oh no, Freddie was burnt in the thing. I was going to say maybe yeah. Freddie helped write some of the pages or something because he's so, yeah. he's way on the other side, like yeah. more so than Jason is, right? No, see, I, like, I think my thing is Freddie versus Jason, Freddie versus Jason has happened. So they have their own thing going on. But now you find out this is a cabin 
that used to be like a counselor's cabin at Camp Crystal Lake. Camp Crystal Lake is just uh, on the other side. That's a good. That's good. I like that. And then they read from this, and they, they re animate the dead and the only other dead person is jason so you got this stuff going on but then you've got jason i dig it oh fuck we should be writing more movies i'm gonna i'm gonna contact sam raimi oh my god you think that you know oh, I, he's probably I think I, I only right? actually worked like two months or two two weeks out of this entire year i could have probably whipped up that script no fucking problem yeah. Woo, i like that time Woo. yeah I want you to write. This movie it. scared the fuck out of me when we were younger, man. Jeez. See, no, like I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm a sociopath. But movies never scared me. Never. Never. I've never been a. F- the I've never been. A, not even close. Holy fuck. Not even close. I did not I, know that actually. I was just like I find like I find the imagery. I'm just like whoa, like they're really doing something with this. But I've never been like ooh, I think like I got the you creeps know, like, or anything. No. It's just like I get. I get more excited goosebumps than scared right. goosebumps. Like when we no, were doing when we were doing out. Little Shop of Horrors and they were singing the awesome song. I was getting crazy goosebumps. Uh, but this one, I don't know. And I think Joy that, Bumps. They're called Joy Bumps. Truth. But I think that this is again, this is my dad like when I was five years old watching the gates of hell with me <laughs> and playing it backwards and stuff. Like he used to do that. Cause he's like, he wanted to show me it wasn't scary. <laughs> right. He's like, look how silly this is. Like we're going to do it backwards and the guts are going to go back in his mouth. <laughs> and like, so, and <laughs> so it's ingrained in me while everybody knows it's not well, the real. Thing is Cause I watch a lot of movies alone too. Yeah. Right. So then I get all freaked. Yeah. But like, because every, uh, and like, I think like everybody's obviously aware that these movies aren't real, They're but not. then it's like, well, there you go. That's but a it's, documentary. But it was like, I was taught from the beginning to look at them as silly. I thought this was a documentary on basements. Yes. And just horticulture in yeah, general. Yeah, like, like what the fuck? These are the types of trees that will rape, and these. You are can the literally ones hear him there, kind of being just like, oh, oh, so close. Yeah. <laughs> no. The. No, it didn't. The dialogue. This is Sam Raimi dialogue, and this does not get better. Like, watch Spider Man Three. Oh my lord! What a movie. There's the one line where he like what he like flips a little money to the girl. And he's like, "Find me some shade," and I'm like, "I want to punch Sam Raimi." In you know, because the, the thing is, they could have made that right dark and right awesome because it's Venom and it, Topher Grace. I'm it, like, what the? F-? And then there's like two other bad guys in it. They could have st- like. Yeah. There's like three three bad guys. That was when, well, and that's when they first should have learned the lesson of don't have too many bad guys, and they didn't because like ten more movies did it afterwards. Even the next Spider Man. Uh, like the has amazing Spider Man yeah. has a couple, and sometimes you need two. No, that's like, okay. Because Batman one of the guys returns. can get their asses kicked real quick in the beginning yeah. because eventually well, they all team up and they're the Sinister well, Six. Well, but it's not like even one than the other. Like I think that um, like Batman Returns did a really good job at it. You had this one guy yes. and you had this other person, and they had kind of like a mutual interest, and it just kind of that worked was out. yeah. Well, that's fucking back come out of Batman Returns, man. Shit. But like like Spider Man Three, like they're just kind of like all like let's just all attack them at the same time. Like, oh, well, okay. in Batman. Or turns they're two different, you know, because like Penguin's cerebral and mm-hmm. Catwoman's all physical. Oh, yeah, very physical. And then they Fuck. teamed up. Jesus, I still want that Michael. poster of hell here. That's that's one. Which one? That's another shirt idea. Oh, Don't let them hear me. I can't, it's too late. You're oh, saying it out loud. Fuck. You're saying it into a microphone, which captures our voices like, digitally. I thought I was t- talking to you via the shine. Oh, that would be even worse because then this would just be dead air. Who cares? And they won't steal their fucking idea. <laughs> Could you imagine? You just have these dead spots and you're like, oh, Joe and Todd are thinking up t-shirts again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jesus. <laughs> and that's like our iTunes reviews. Or I used to like it better when they didn't want to make t-shirts. Yeah, like what the fuck? The uh, at least the, you know they're half decent in this one where they get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Like, let's get out of here. Is everybody there? Or is it just I'm them? Be, no, it's just them. He's being a good brother. I'm assuming he's an older brother. That's a weird thing that always happens in these movies too. Who's going like on like sex vacations with their siblings? I know, right? And it's all horror movies always have that. It's always like somebody's brother. Or somebody's I was sister I was thinking, like, honest to God, when they yeah. when they did the shot before of it going through and the one girl took her took her top off and yeah. she was in the other room, the sister, yeah, <clears throat> looking at her drawings. Mm-hmm. I was like, there's always the odd person out. Yeah, and it's like how awkward for them to go on the vacation. I well, that was me though. That was I was that guy. You know, forever going yeah. on without with people, and they're all couples, and there I am. But then every now and then, you know, you get all drunk, and their girlfriend to kind of, you know, get get out, you know, wrestle with you or something. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, you into cuckolding? 
<laughs> who isn't? Yeah. Hold my cuck. That's fine. Carrie's asleep. You can, you can finish her off. Fucking on. right on, man. She won't know the difference between our <laughs> micro penises. <laughs> exactly. Maybe the crying afterwards. She <laughs> might <laughs> distinguish <laughs> as being different. No. No. <laughs> it's like <laughs> we're like we're like a two wi- like yeah. women and they have their periods sync we are it's exactly the same everything yeah everything the amount of thrusts will be equal <laughs> it's like the corsican <laughs> brothers where one gets yeah. one gets hit the other one he feels it yeah man the fog machine's on full blast in this fucking one let me tell you that would be great the if fog, they... special the fog man's in here twice mm. in the credits <laughs> that would be a fun like flesh gordon kind of movie version of uh corsican brothers where it's like the one guy Comes, well, so he the blow, other guy the other guy blows it so he's like walking around but the one guy's a total like lothario right like he's always getting it yeah exactly the other guy's gotta be like, a nerdo who's trying yeah. to get the girl of his dreams but he keeps ruining it because he keeps blowing his yeah. load so he's sitting there and they're just on a date and he's like you know i really like she's like i like you too and he's just going ah, ah, and it's just like starts <laughs> like bucky through. larson style yeah just like uh, spraying everywhere love it so much this is like i feel uh, like this was a three hundred fifty thousand dollar movie and I feel like they spent all of the money on fog. Yeah, and blood. And and blood, yeah. Um, the movie made total, like, to this date, $2.4 million. That's it? Well, what about like, all there's people well, are buying no, it on VHS I, I'm talking, and... this is just box office, so any oh. re-releases and things like okay, that. Okay. And like, they uh, must have started making this it now. Was, Everybody knows this movie now. This was one of the number one VHS movies of the year in most countries when it came out. It became a big, like, it was one of those real word of mouth things, and then a lot of stories came out about it being banned. And and, like, and then more was, people. That does it even better. That does, it's even yeah. better. Well, people, like, well, like I said, because this was banned in uh, Germany, and Sony Entertainment came out. On their behalf to, um, yeah, they they came out on their behalf to get it unbanned. Stephen King came out on their behalf to get it unbanned. It took 10 years. This movie came wow. out in 1992. Really? In, in, no, in no. Uh, Germany. Okay, yeah, yeah. In Germany. It had been out for a couple of weeks in I, 81 when it came out. But I remember back in the day, uh, I had to go to Prime Picks Video. I remember that. And I had to order this from them because I couldn't find Evil Dead. I couldn't find The Shining. I couldn't find any of these movies on VHS. And then like five years later, you go to That's Entertainment and there's just, it's like, it's overflowing with Evil Dead, The Shining, all these movies. Oh, yeah. And I had to wait forever for them to come. That was cool waiting for them, though. No, I am not a fan of waiting for things (laughs) that I purchased. (laughs) Right. Like, I'm fine for like, it's like, oh, this movie's going to come out, you know, in a month. Okay, I can wait yeah. a month, no problem. Yeah. But if I bought, the, if I pre-ordered the movie, I'm like, why is it not in my hands right now? I've ar- yeah. money has exchanged hands already. Like, I uh, ordered a cam- I ordered a camping table from Amazon, and it's gonna get it's gonna get here so by tomorrow. The, the moment you but, click, it should do. They're at the door. Like, yeah, the drone like, wow, should We don't even have a doorbell. It. We're in an apartment building. Oh this, fuck! They should have shipped it the second, like on a drone, the second I started. Uh, the the checkout process so it should have been on its way to me. Uh, this uh, is where it picks up right here. Mm-hmm. Like the others before you. Is this another Overlook Hotel situation? Holy Everything's Overlook. Holy fuck. Do you hear they're doing all the um all the prequels and sequels and stuff to uh, The Shining now? Doctor Sleep. Yeah, Doctor Sleep. I still... have that book. Oh shit, that's right. Is I it good? Read that. I haven't read it yet. Oh, okay. You just um, re- literally reminded me. I oh. have it. Oh, cool. But yeah, you and McGregor is playing yep. Danny Torrance. It sounds like a cool concept. I really like the it's concept neat. of it actually. And then, but and it's cool because it doesn't sound like a sequel. Like, no, it's just like this character continuing. Now, years later, and Danny Torrance, and he's still got the yeah, shine. He's got that shine. And he's still got right. Scatman Crothers going boo 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 in his head all day. He's like Scatman, get out of here. Stop. Get out of my fucking head. Yeah, oh, fuck. Here we go. Check this out, everybody. The, oh, this is Watch gross. this part. This is like the word. This ruined my childhood right here. This is why I this only use primary pencils. Oh, to this God. Day. Like, oh. oh. it's so hot. Oh. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, right there. Oh. It looks so it looks that is real a good bad. Effect. Like, ugh. All body mutilation and stuff. They did all the sounds by oh. doing um, raw, they stabbed raw chickens. Oh, and I had to reread when I was doing the research. I had to reread it a couple times because I kept seeing them just say "stab chickens." I'm like, are they murdering chickens yeah. in the background? And they got a whole like, chicken no. coop. They're just killing all day long. The movement. And they, they they will not like just do the sound effect. Like kill one chicken, tape it, and then reuse it. It's got to be a fresh chicken every time yeah. they need the sound. Well, because they mass they match the angles yeah. and stuff like that. Cheryl, stop! I it. really Ooh. like the 
motion acting that she's doing right now this kind of like, like the weird jerky yeah. like her head like i tell you there's a girl right now on america's got talent um like this is america's got talent's gonna be done by the time this comes out but uh we're almost done but um Ooh. she's like like a grudge style like a japanese scary oh i girl. saw a picture of her yeah but she what's her name ran out of the damn place yeah mel b or one of the you know she they call her scary spice and she got scared and ran that's what i'm saying well i was i actually got mad at her because basically her I thing is mad she, at she walks around and every now and again you hear a voice called like i want you play and then she does these weird little twitches and stuff and you're like oh Oh god. Is that all she does? No, and she does magic. She does magic tricks and stuff like that. Like she made another person appear and stuff. But she went over to Scary Spice and gave her this doll. And then right when she got it, she just gave it to uh Howie Mandel. And then I'm like, are you aware like That's when somebody part does of the trick. when somebody does a magic trick, usually everything is important. So yes. you doing that could have fucked up the trick. It ended up not really ha- it was just kind of a distraction thing. It was probably right. like I'm over here so something can happen over here right. type thing. But it was like you didn't you don't know that. So fucking play along cuz you know she's not a real grudge monster. Yeah. Like Jesus Christ. Yeah, for real, right? You're an adult, Jesus yeah. God. You're you're on a stage. You probably met yeah. her backstage for fucks sake. And speaking of bond. Exactly. And speaking of the grudge, uh, Sam Raimi is producing the grudge reboot that's coming. The out. grudge reboot but uh but yeah like she it was cool and she was scary but her i just find her uh, act very slow ah because everything's just because she walks so slow and then she'll That's just her thing while, do a little see thing. like these shots but it's like freaked me right it out oh, they're great. these pov shots these I like when they rem- show her face these remind me of things like out of tremors and jaws and stuff like that too where you just have these like da, 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 and then all of a sudden just disappear and then, man that looks like a dangerous like did they try and nail her down and then she busted it back up because look at the nails sticking yeah down. well they've Jesus. changed they've chained it too you know how it is that's a good way to get get her to not reach out. I feel like th- I feel like everybody involved in this got tetanus at some point. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah, wholeheartedly. Yeah. Well, I there's a laundry list of injuries that um like Bruce Campbell was constantly injured during this. Uh, when he's outside at one point, he trips over a uh, tree root and he sprained his ankle. Jeez. And then Sam Raimi and uh, Tapper there tapered whatever were like po- literally poking and jabbing his ankle, going like you're just faking. Yeah. and he's like screaming and they're like go get go get to your like next mark and stuff like that and he like limped over so you'll actually notice during this movie he's limping during oh, a lot right of it there. it's because he's got a severely injured ankle and he's being forced to walk on it because sam raimi's an asshole what a prick sounds like when the york with james cameron he half kills you oh god like Kate and Leo almost died making yeah. Titanic like 50 times. I heard a good story, actually. Uh, the guy who played, I can't remember his name now, but the Italian guy in uh, Titanic did an interview recently and talked about working with him on Titanic and stuff and how it was just like this big, crazy, like I never worked anything so gigantic before. And then they were like, um, and then he was talking about like James Cameron just screaming at each at people and stuff like that. And he's like, it must be like horrible, especially like when you're like this inexperienced person or whatever. It's like, no, everybody was afraid of when he, like when he right. would scream, right? When he would freak just, out. He would just have these like friggin' like meltdowns and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, he's a control freak. Yeah. He's a friggin', uh, mm-hmm. He's like a, I don't know, like a savant or something where he just fucking yeah. loses it. And I still put it out there. I'm going to say it again. I say it every time we talk about James Cameron. I love James Cameron and hate James Cameron at the exact same time. I loved Terminator 2. Yep. I loved True Lies. Aliens. I loved a- Aliens is probably like Terminator 2 is your favorite. Aliens is mine. And I loved The Abyss. And they scream. And hell, even Piranha. Oh, Piranha was awesome. Like, well, Piranha, I, I can't remember if he did. I, I like to remake too. Piranha. Piranha remake was awesome. So good. So good. It's so many people in it, too, man. It's Elizabeth Shue, Paul Shear, Adam Scott. What's that Finn girl's Rames. like ponytail got caught in the boat motor and yeah. ripped her face right? Oh, I was so like, good. oh, man. I was like, this movie so rules. Good. We'll get to that movie. Fucking right. But the, um, but yeah, anyways, like, so I love that early thing, fa- that early. Uh, James Cameron and then something happened in him where he wasn't just like the engineer who could like oh my god like yeah he wasn't just the engineer who could like get it done you know yeah now he's he knows that and then he's making Titanic and he's going crazy over budget and doing all this stuff and he's getting like he's getting in trouble over like what's going on and then it ends up being the biggest movie of all time which totally redeems you then no but here's the thing 
it was the biggest movie of all time because back then no movie got any press during its production. Like it wasn't like the old internet days. Hello, nothing there. I, I always love that. It's that one still always gets me every time because I'm like, something's going to jump out, right? Is I do get startled guy, during these. Yo, is but, this the guy from Hellraiser? No. Is he not? He looked just like the guy who's Jesus wept. Oh, God, no. He, he looks just guy, like him. This guy's like 15 years younger than him. Well, this uh, that one was way later. No, it's not. It's like a couple years later. No way. Yeah. Hellraiser's This is 90s. 81. This is 81. Hellraiser 1 was like 83. Oh, well, fuck. They put some makeup some, on. It's called a movie. Yeah. No, it's definitely not him. But uh, anyways, though, with, um, you know, with James Cameron, he then like, you know, he did all this stuff and... We we live in the world now where literally you know about every production, you know everything that went on. You never heard about a movie going into reshoots, no, and stuff like that. Now Lateral it becomes was a big, big thing, one too, and that well, that was and yeah, that was another. F- oh, that's a good one. Uh, but and that was another early one. But you knew so much about this because it costs so much extra money, and they're like, it's going to be crazy. And then they did a lot of press about the detail of the Titanic, not about the quality of the movie. Right. Not once when I saw press for it did they ever talk about how good the movie was. They're just going to say when you look at it it's going to be amazing right and sure enough like so the attention every, to detail yeah, and uh so uh, so everybody was like i've been hearing about this movie forever which has never been a thing before so everybody went and saw it then when avatar came out he had taken a 14 year break from making movies is that how long it was it was a it was a long time i don't think it was exactly that long but it was a very right. long time right like it was although that 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 could be like it was probably at least 12 years Really? Between the two movies. And so what are you going to do? Oh, the guy with the biggest movie of all time has a new movie. And when they came out, when it came out and did press, they talked about how amazing it looked. They never talked about how good it was. Yeah. And again, terrible story. Avatar? Avatar. I enjoyed the experience of Avatar. Yes, 100% agree. But... But but then once you've had the numbers, but once you've seen that, you realize, and like you've seen that and I went to rewatch it and then I'm looking and I, now I'm just listening to this. I'm paying attention to the story. Now I'm not being distracted. Right. By flash. I'm like, wow, this is boring. Terrible movie. And, eh? and really, if you go back and look at Titanic, I can watch Titanic every day. If I go from the, the second first, tape, no, the first line is iceberg right ahead and then go from there. And then it's just like, yeah. whatever, as far as I know, these two people met while the thing was sinking you and they're just it. running through. Yeah. And oh, right. here we go. Oh, oh this so is good. awesome. Oh, oh there goes this fucking chop something off. Oh, yeah, like this. The sounds of these demons, too. This weird echo. Oh, God, like they choose through his own hand. Yeah. Like, like James mm. Franco. Yes. Oh, my God. It didn't take this one 127 hours. I know, right? What a but, fucking wimp. This yeah. is how a real man does it. <laughs> and by real man, I mean possessed woman. Yes. Fuck the hand. I don't even need <laughs> it. But yeah, with, um, <clears throat> yeah, with the whole like love story of um, uh, DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, it was just like the simplest, like like classist kind of thing. It was like, oh, have you ever seen a movie about a rich girl and a po- uh, and a poor boy falling in love? Never. Just, we're gonna slap that on, and then they're gonna hit an iceberg and see what happens. And I was just like, ugh. Like you bore me, dear God, lady. That's the sounds are awesome. Sometimes, like that's the exact sound I make when I orgasm. Yeah, but I like much longer and more shriller though. I know. I like finding. <laughs> oh, you know, cheap, all right. Oh, I, I constantly. <laughs> I, I have you have more webcams in your house than you'll ever know. <laughs> I can see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's actually just two percent milk shoot. Is it? Out. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. It looks like Guar. I don't know like why Gwar I would have. Gu- yeah, I don't know why I would have guessed anything else. Because I mean, obviously, it's yeah. so keep it simple, stupid. With, yeah. uh, with a low budget movie like this, she ain't dead yet. Come on, no. she's got a bit through her own yeah. hand. Oh no, she got the thing right through her. Was the it, big knife? Was it supposed to be pus or cum? Probably like, a is he both. Making demon babies. Like, That's right. Kind buddy. of the same way that uh, Billy Zane does in. Uh, Demon Knight. Demon Knight, where he, like, yeah, he cuts, cuts his hand, hand open and he, he shoots the mutagen everywhere. He Spider Man's Look at those nice socks. Look like those are pretty socks good. to go to hell in. Yeah. Do you subscribe to Sock Fancy? Oh, God. Our newest sponsor? <laughs> God, that would be Fancy awesome if sock? we could. I would love to get a sponsor and then just say, can we just work you into the show rather than, like, stop right. the show and do a commercial? <laughs> Because I would, like, I would look for the dumbest way to, like, transition. That would be great. Yeah. 
We need Com- something like a Did- yeah, like but it has to be a wicked like you know bug, yeah. some bug company or like yeah. some like very rubber, just like our last oh, one. Yeah, either. boom. You love her now. Yeah. So he's saying it's her. I will oh think. God. I, this I, guy's yeah. not. This is how you do it, Ash. This is how you do it, buddy. I no mercy. Dismember that fucking yeah. bitch. I couldn't do this to my wife. To my wife, but I could do this to a girlfriend. No problem. I was like, I'll get another girlfriend. <laughs> Dude, if my friggin' old lady or wife did some of this crazy, I'd be chopping her up too. <laughs> Fuck it. And that's if there's no chopping demon her up. Should... Exactly, man. Yeah. You know. Sometimes I'm just looking at her across the room and going, God, I'd love to see her <laughs> in pieces in a garbage can next to my bed. <laughs> exactly. And you'd have a first decent night's sleep. <laughs> Those are actual live animals and they're moving yeah. around. That's a fa- fun fact for you Th- kids at home. That twitching reminded me of uh, Toxic Avenger where they're like, just all, like it's shitting. Oh <laughs> my God, yes. If this was a trauma movie, there'd be way more ass shots as they just yeah. shit everywhere. And just remember, Disney, that's who you hire. Yes. Yeah. You do that going in. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty soon he's coming back. I don't know. I said I, I read something the source near the thing said that it's very that they think it's unlikely that Disney will back down. Oh damn. Well, Marvel specifically Disney doesn't right. really have much of a hand in it even though it's their company. No, they they're, they're sort of like their own like, thing. Yeah. That's what I kind of like cuz that's what they always do like when they bought Marvel and when they bought uh, Star, like you stay Star doing Wars, your work, Lucasfilm. stay doing your thing. They, but everybody's like, oh, here we go. Mickey Mouse is going to be in the next uh, Star Wars movie. I'm like, you guys are. Yeah, because how long has it been moronic. since Mickey Mouse has even been in anything? Yeah. Like, for fuck's sake. Like, that's Mickey, what they do is put Mickey in everything. Well, Mickey and the Roadster Racers. Oh, well, important. they deserve to be in every movie. Yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah, it's a good show. Good show. I wouldn't be out there digging fuck all up, no, man. Not a chance. I just whip her outside and I'd be like, fuck this. I think I honestly think I would just do the right thing and kill both of us. I was like, let's not even try and escape this. I don't want to know what's on the outside of this. But I was like, I'm just gonna hit you in the back of the head with a shovel and then I'm gonna light the place on fire. Would you tell me like this or would you me? just do it? Oh, I'd just do it. I'd I'd like to try to live, to be honest with you. No, fuck it. <laughs> I'm not, I, as as your friend, I'm not going to allow it. <laughs> yeah, Calmer heads prevail. We're yes. committing suicide. <laughs> yeah. For the love of God. <laughs> Stop being silly and get over here and kill yourself with me. Yeah. All this not giving up bullshit. Yeah, really get in my nerves. Because I feel like it'll be like Tom Jane in uh, The Mist. Wow, where right. like, you know, they run out and he's like, oh, well, I might as well just kill everybody. And then the moment he kills his whole family, boom, the army shows up. Yeah. And he's like, wow, boy, do, do I have egg on my face? And by egg, I mean my family's guts and blood. <laughs> Like, Jesus, I wish that that Tom, was like, just why, the line. Why fight the whole time just to give up like that in the fucking end? His Punisher uh, brain kicked in. Yeah. That's what happened. Oh, fuck. I noticed. Trapped the, in a cabin, man. The Punisher seems to be the one series. Are those they're... literally the lights for the movie? I Look at like, that. They yeah. look like they're literally, like, we're literally looking at lights in the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Yeah, I, I feel like they're meant to be like, oh, old man. You know, old man McGillicuddy put these lights oh, up. Oh, right. The, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Just but, to illuminate the area. But at the same time, it's total bullshit. They just put them up to light the area. No, it's a good justification. I, I dig yeah. it. Yeah. So, God, I love the name McGillicuddy. We got to get that brought back into like. Holy the, God. That should be like my new phone alarm. Oh, my God. That or, would, so that's I like think the, that would... the alarm that puts me to sleep at night. <laughs> Who's going to save you? Ah, swallow your soul. <laughs> yes. <sighs> I can't sleep unless demons are screaming at me. I want that to be like my white noise. Yes. So it's just that's how you go to sleep. It just starts kind of like the just that window. Yeah. And then oh fuck. Ooh, so in, in a spider's whoa, web. Whoa. See, and it's like that kind of thing. Like it looks like they just got an animatronic to do that part when it's clearly just the actress because there's right. no they got an animatronic to do that part. Oh, buddy, I just hang right out the door. Mm-hmm. That looks like he's about to like go to Sandworm Land. Yes, that's like right out of Beetlejuice again, where there's nothing there. I feel like they didn't have like this is a reshoot and they weren't on set anymore because they burnt it down. So they just like that was just the line. Oh like Jesus! That. She looks like the original Harley Quinn. Oh, she kind of does actually. Yeah. yeah, just lie to him. Yeah. Just lie to me like yeah. he's lying to Scotty. Okay, <laughs> before you kill me. You're going to be just fine now. Turn around and look at that fish on the wall (laughs) while I go get something that is none of your business. Oh, God. Look at the flowers. 
Yeah, well, are you just going to let her sit there like that or what? Yeah. Cheryl was right. You Does he not have. even see her sitting there? Probably not. Hey, look what's happening. Oh, you missed it. Look at when yeah. they show him again. There were some weird hairs on the screen or something there. Oh, nice. It's gone now. Yeah, you know what happened. Again, this th- like they are shooting this in a filth hole. So if, the, if stuff got on the camera, stuff got on the camera. <laughs> In a literal yeah. hell shithole. Like, this movie might as well have been shot on Lindsay Lohan's taint. Oh, my Lord. It might have been. I think it's this is a lot clearer than that. I started in Mean Girls. <laughs> oh, my God. How many years ago was that? It was last month. Oh. Blah. Shut the hell up down yeah. there. Apparently, they had to keep stopping production on this because, like, hunters would just show up. Because, again, this is all abandoned area so those hunters probably Imagine seen this you place walked in times. and you're like what in the fuck is going on in here yeah. like i would not surprise me to find out this is the second cast because the first time yeah, they, they, tried they, this, they got they killed they blasted away. them all I would love. <laughs> that I line that line delivery was almost as bad as troll twos they're eating them then they're gonna eat me oh my god Troll 2. <laughs> Troll 2. Return man. of the Roll. Oh, Christ. So I don't like his makeup there. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple of the actors in this, uh, Teresa Tilly and uh, Richard Demanicor, uh, they both actually... I love this. This is this is one of the few like funny moments and it's just him doing those hits. But um, They're really like old school. Yeah. But anyways, the two actors, they both had to... Uh, they both did the movie in different names. Right. Uh, because this is a non-union movie and they were both SAG actors. So and they were the only SAG actors, so they had they didn't want to get in trouble. Right. So they had to come in, they had to come in under different names. I wonder what that what happens though. Because you've done this movie and eventually it's going to come out that you're the one who did it. Yes. Like it's So like, like how other, do you would you take the Alan Smithy? You well, use like a like no, a but here's the name. Thing, but here's the thing. That doesn't matter when your face is on the screen. Like you can't fake that. No, no, no. But no. if you wrote the Did movie, you say it wasn't you. Yeah, but if you wrote the movie and threw in a different name, no, you you could deny, deny, deny. You could shaggy your way through that whole thing. <laughs> exactly, it wasn't me. I saw you writing on in the office. It wasn't me. I saw you sell the script to to Miramax. It wasn't me. <laughs> and then I saw you in the movie. Wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. No, it was it was you, motherfucker. I'm <laughs> yeah, not don't fucking give Ar- me this shit. Ar- argument over. <laughs> yeah, what you, how dumb do you think your girlfriend is, Shaggy, for fuck's sake? I'm also looking on your IMDP page <laughs> where it says it was you yeah. under this fake name. Wasn't it me. Wasn't me. That, that was oh, the old uh Ash, don't you fall for it, bro, bro. Don't I wonder if Shaggy down. did the song from the Eddie Murphy joke. Because he did that where he was talking about, he was like, how if a you know guy like really like slings the dick, then a woman will believe it. And she's like, I saw you cheating on me with that girl. He's like, wasn't me. Yeah, and she's like, no, dear. man, it was definitely you. It was wasn't me. She's like, maybe it wasn't you. And it's because <laughs> <"Whoa." laughs> you, you make him come. Uh, oh, yeah. Cheryl. This is actually interesting. I read this today. Um, I always wondered why they called this the evil dead. Because it's there's nothing about it like they they don't say the really? line and they don't well it's just the evil dead they like, are what? evil and they are dead yeah but it's just like I again it it has no specific tie I don't know I don't uh, but anyways I uh, Sam Raimi wanted to name it Book of the Dead okay it's about the book right using the Book of the Dead but the producer was literally worried that young people wouldn't want to come see the movie if it, it had any book. if it had any literary reference to it oh at all. my god so he's probably they, right yeah he is probably right. i wouldn't go see no book movie about books I'm not going to see some nerd movie about murder except the movie <laughs> book club what a riveting tale oh god i like the joy luck club hey, did he just bite that dirty old thumb Probably. And he probably, again, that was somebody who just lived underneath the house. That's not even an actor. <laughs> he, just re- he just happened to be filming. You can actually hear Sam Raimi go, let's use it. <laughs> Holy fuck. God, the sounds are just like, that is the perfect actress for a haunted house. Like if you were going through a haunted house and you saw that, you'd be like, oh, 
Those contact lenses are probably <laughs> fucked. Oh, that's actually a thing. These white lenses, these are, again, super low budget. These are made of such a thick glass. It took 10 minutes to put them on, and they were only allowed to keep them on for about 15 minutes, or it would cause permanent damage to their eyes. Oh, my because God. Because their eyes weren't getting air. For a dirty old movie like this, yeah. like, Jesus. So basically, they'd have to get them in and then rush them to the spot. But here's a prime example. He's fighting her. She can't see him. No. Like he's, uh, they, they, uh, likened it basically to like looking through Tupperware lids. Oh my God. Jesus. What a night, eh? For Ash. Yeah. It's and every night after for the rest of his fucking, there it is. It's the moon. Hey, look at that moon. The blood moon rises once again. <laughs> I'm like, oh, in the beginning, man, I was freaked. Every time the blood moon happened, I was like, oh fuck. I I was like that for the first couple, and then I was just annoyed. I know. And then but I just do it. Come on, come on. I just skip, had, skip, 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 skip. Um, you know, even Tide Island, where you lose all your yep. shit and you have to do. It. I just did that, and I got a blood moon in the middle nice. of one of those monsters. Nice. Areas, so I got rid of all of them, and then I had to fight them all yep. again. And I'm like, Are you kidding me? Yep. No way. No fooling. Uh, no I, no foolsies on I, this one. That was my fault, though. I should have kept an eye out and just let that thing re reset before, like, or after I. Uh, I had to go back. I didn't have enough hearts and shit. Once I got more hearts, then I went back. That's what I did. Too. Yeah, I was I like, "Fuck this!" Like, I was like, "This is too much for me." Uh-huh. So, anyways, that's our thoughts on the Legend of Zelda, <laughs> <laughs> which sprang from the Evil Dead. Yeah. Well, they, they shouldn't have showed us a red moon if they didn't want us to talk. You about think it, you'd right? live through this night? Yeah. Think you could pull an ash. But you have to be uncorruptible. There's something about him. They, they, everybody, how come everybody gets possessed except for him? Even after being stabbed and, and covered feel, in their blood and drinking it. And demons, he, there's something with him. Demons don't want no unibrows. He's the chosen one. Yeah. Yeah, there's something. There to is it. something with him. I still love this. Like the Army, Army of Darkness as a sequel to this. Oh my God. <laughs> is like, is like, I know. Uh, Boom. <laughs> yeah. But Army of Darkness is a sequel to this is like when I did my bullshit movie in college. I did one called Loose. I, I Again, I've probably told this story before. I did one called Loose yes, Limbs. You hold on like that. I know. That's the worst way to hold it. I know. Like. Um, but it looks kind of like a, like a Voldemort's oh. wand in uh, Harry Potter. You, Which you own. I do own. Because you stole it off of Voldemort's dead body. I won it in battle. Okay, the wand chose me. It's fine. But, uh, oh my god, that's probably not good. Yeah, no, it's, it'll be fine. Voldemort's wand. Well, no, when you when you win, like, when you duel somebody and you beat them, their wand is yours. No, but I know his wand is evil. Yeah. Well, it's just the other it one. Might influence he could have just as easily gotten Harry oh, Potter's wand belt. and then Voldemort got his. It just looks scary. They just swapped. Mm-hmm. You don't think that the negative energy of Voldemort's wand would stay and possibly corrupt you? I don't know. Let's let's roll. Or, or when it comes to you, it then becomes like yours. So then it's good. Yeah, I would think so because I mean, bad people use the elder wand, right? And that was Dumbledore's. And he didn't get corrupted. It's Dumbledore. Look at he's reading. He passed out reading. Dumby door. See, there's more books in this movie than ever. This movie's for fucking nerds. Nerds. Uh, apparently, there was a shot when they were getting near. Uh, Bruce Campbell, the cameraman, slipped and literally dropped the camera on Bruce Campbell's face and knocked out a couple teeth. <laughs> this sounds like the worst experience. It's a good thing he turned into like a horror icon because my yeah. God. Yeah, if, if this movie went nowhere, all you have is a bad experience. Oh, exactly. She looks very similar, and I wonder if they did it on purpose, but in the remake of 13 Ghosts, one of the ghosts looks a lot like that one. What a terrible movie. I liked it. Ugh. It's like again, I liked it strictly for the makeup. Right. Like it was, you saw those guys, and there was so much to them. And then they wrote in the uh, DVD, they have the backstory of every single one of them, and you know how they died. Oh, that's and all right. That. Yeah, and yeah I've was... seen that actually. Yeah, they did look pretty good. Here we go. Yeah, they look fun. Oh, you know, in the second one too is where they introduce his chainsaw arm. Yeah. This, or is that in this yeah. one? No, the boomstick is this one. I think I I don't remember. Uh, I know he chops his yeah. arm off. Yeah, yeah, he does. This is terrifying because literally you can actually see her how fast her heart's beating there because he has a real chainsaw within inches of her chest oh i thought they took the chain off nope that looks like the chain is going though yeah 
It Jeez, was very, that's, yo, that's trust, yo. No, that's just Sam Raimi going, I don't have time to take the chain off because it'll look like the chain's off. So just do it. So they, I was reading the thing and they're like, if you look at the vein in her neck, you'll see how fast her heart's beating when that's happening. Freaked. And it was friggin', it was dancing. I mean, my God, like you would guess like here, the cameraman dropped something, you know, that should never happen. Dropped it on his face. They're getting injured. So what's going to happen in the chainsaw Could you imagine? scene? Like I sometimes like already today I've been holding my phone and I just went like whoop whoop and then had to catch it. You do that with a chainsaw and you've minced your you've Whoa. minced the, your lady. I mean even just touching her with it is gonna do some serious damage. Oh, it'll shred. It will like like so like, you know he was probably nervous as fuck too and he was yeah. probably like you know what I'm not gonna fucking drop this on yeah. you. Yeah. Well, that's probably like like skin graft level. Like yeah. you can't even stitch that up because it would tear. No, your you'd skin have to get apart. her the fuck out of there. I mean, I don't know if you would die. No. But it would do some serious no. damage. Just you wouldn't. You, know, just you wouldn't die. Yeah. Unless it clipped an artery, you weren't gonna die. But keep it, keep it rolling. Look at the blood spray. Keep it. We'll get her out of here when the blood stops pumping out. <laughs> yeah, just wait for it. Wait for it. Well, I'm surprised. It must have just been like. I wonder. Is he? Was he still the same on his new movies? Like, was he as awful to the? Or did you learn from no. this one? Oh, I'm sure once you get money, things sort themselves out. Well, because there's out. probably a guy there, too, being like, you can't do that, Sam. Yeah. You need to feed these people. Well, again, we sandwich you have a proper crew. You've got, like, assistant directors and right. other people. Who are, and you've got lawyers. And you've got, like, every, everything is being dealt with. It's like, hey, guys, you know what you know would be interesting? Oh, and you also have actors with agents. who are yes. like, oh, yeah, by the way, he's, he's not, not going to sleep on. That. He's not going to do this. Yeah. So all that stuff just kind of takes away. straight advantage of the way. But man, you need you gotta you want to make an omelet, man. Yeah, you have to break some Bruce Campbell's. That's right. Look it up that nostril. Can you imagine if go. she had like a booger up there? She'd really like that would be I'm like sure that would be the worst part of the whole thing, right? No, no, but like it would become one of those cult things. Like you know, in like the room, there's a god awful picture of a spoon on the wall, and when people see it, they like throw spoons at the screen. Oh and god! Stuff. Like when they add and things into like uh, you know what's that one? They do Rocky Horror. Rocky Horror. Like, that's they, what I'm like, saying. When people knock like, on the like, door, doing crazy and, shit. And and so like they're doing. Oh, all this stuff. is where we throw confetti into the air. Yeah. So you imagine? Well, but you got to make it interesting if you're going to keep going back his to name was screens, robert right? whatever now when meatloaf dies after seven they say yeah. in, in the movie they go his name was yeah whatever richard yeah. parsons i'd whatever. like to actually go see some of those in that kind of experience i'd be very curious to see it was do really do it still oh yeah, all the time rocky horror was playing oh uh, that the, sounds like the worst day for me why going to see everybody? Yeah, just like going to watch Rocky Horror and people are all into it. I'm just like, eh. I would, that's one where I would just kind of, I like to sit back and just kind of, right, just, just enjoy the creek. Because the yeah. people, it's like, I've been waiting all year for this. Yeah. I'm trying, you know, oh, tell them. Yeah, like, oh, God. Oh, exactly. But like, yeah, the, like those could be some fun things. It's just like the idea of the midnight screen. But if you're into doing that, like, you know, why well, like midnight screens and shit too? Yeah. But, you know, and it's, it's true, like, if you, you get into it. Yes. It's just a little too kind of nerdy for me, but I'm into wrestling and shit. So, you know, yeah. whatever you're into, let your fucking freak flag fuck ya. <laughs> yeah. Get fucked by your fucking freak fucking flag. Fucking right. So there you guys, it is so again. The thing. So, you, like, you keep having these oh, things. So they were, like, trying to find, to like... the evil. Oh, God, maybe not. Yeah. He didn't even... He technically didn't bury her. Like, did he just... He just covered her with dirt yeah, rather well, than dug Good enough. Hole. Jesus, man. No, oh, no, God. you have a demon. You put it down in a hole oh, that's flat. God, it's getting right oh. in there. Yeah, you it's would think it would be, scratch. You would think it would be his leg he'd have to tear off. I th I wonder if they did that so then when he was limping around all the time, they had a reason for Probably. It. Oh, my God. That oh, look at the wig, eh? Yeah. Pretty sure that that four by four would have enough weight that you wouldn't be able to just swing that like a fucking <laughs> like like a softball bat. <laughs> You know what? I keep thinking when I see his face in this, he looks all the time in this movie, like in the scene in Army of Darkness, when his face stretches out. Yeah. Like I keep seeing that image with him in this movie for some reason. It's probably because you've seen him as old for so long. Right. And you're now seeing a tighter skin. Yeah. And it looks like he's all. Yeah. Like right there. Look, it's like the exact same shot. Look at him. He actually oh, right looked kind of like Charlie Sheen there for a moment. Who can't pay his bills anymore because oh, yeah. he was too busy spending it on. Giving girls AIDS. Yes. Oh, that was super fly Jimmy Snooker Wham! playing this part. That's so good. See, that's how you'd that's oh, how you'd be dead. Of course, look, look, look. Oh, this is it right here. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. So gross. Oh, uh, and this is dude, the show is just this. 
Yeah. Just this. So shit being sprayed in his face. Yeah. And like, oh, that's awesome. Now, something I didn't know because they did cut. Uh, they did an off Broadway musical. Apparently it's uh, really good. It's really good. But I didn't know because I knew it was in Toronto. It started in Toronto. That yeah. was actually where it opened. It yeah. didn't open off Broadway. It moved to a Broadway. A dude moved that I went to Ryerson with, he was yeah. like two years or three years ahead of us. He was Ash in the play. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's fun. That would be, I wanted to go see it. I know several people who went to see it and they sat in the splatter section and they bought like a white t-shirt. Uh, Is that the whole like thing? You get splattered? You get covered in blood. <laughs> that's wicked. And so they bought like like Hanes t-shirts right. from, like the, from like Walmart or whatever. And then they just... Uh, yeah, and they just went and they just get splattered and then they framed them. It's kind of like having two different Jackson Pollocks <laughs> sitting in. And, and then Gallagher. Yes. Like Gallagher's helping Jackson it's, Pollock make a painting. It's sledgematic. Get out of here. <laughs> get the fuck. This is called art, you idiot. I'm Ed Harris. You hack. I played Jackson Pollock. That's oh, the, good old Ed Harris. I, I couldn't pick Jackson Pollock out of a lineup, but I know, no, Ed, I mean, Har- I know exactly, who Ed Harris is. Exactly. He was good. That was a good movie, too, actually. Yeah. Ed Harris, if it's Ed Harris is in it, it's good. He's good in that cowboy one too, man. Oh, um, Westworld. Yeah. I saw, like, well, I was thinking though. movie. Was neat, I was thinking movie at first, and I'm like, what movie was he cowboy? Probably Although I'm sure he was. Appaloosa, yeah. that one with uh, Vigo. Vigo. Appalachia, the Papalacaba. He was in a history of violence. He was, felt like a cowboy. Oh shit! Ugh. She grabs his gun. Yeah. What do you think is the optimal weapon? The chainsaw is pretty good for demons. Yeah. What's the best demon killing well, device? I, I get it's like maybe a scythe. Yeah, a flaming a, a sp- scythe, a cross spike. Yeah, it's got to be all religious. Would would crosses the things do? Do they? Do they not care? Is that not a thing? What if these are like Muslim Holy demons water. where you need like the crescent? Halal or whatever. meat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'll uh, get them. Non halal yeah. meat. Yeah, but yeah. Does any uh, religion uh, kill, does any religion kill demons, or is it just because yeah. Christians talk about demons? No, but I'm just say, I'm just saying like because you know when you have like holy water and stuff like that to like get rid of demons and vampires right. and stuff like that. Can you use like Jewish artifacts? Can you use Muslim artifacts? I don't know. That's a really good question, actually. Can a snake handler just bring a snake and like, get I, I, bit? You know what? That is a very damn good question. Maybe if you believe it. I'm well, going to put if that you up. believe it, that's maybe gonna, it'll work. That's going to be our poll question. I like that. Do you guys, the, do you think that other religions will also help demons? Like if Ooh, I, if like, 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 like if I, if I stumbled in, I was running from demons and I stumbled into a room of like old yeah. Jewish demon fighting artifacts. Yeah. Would they work for me? Well, like, if do, would it, I have to be Jewish? Well, would I have that to would be already trained? answer your question because if there were artifacts specifically for fighting okay, demons. Okay, no, no, be, see, that is a little, yeah, it's yeah. a little. Cause but if you be, just had like a copy of the Quran or something right. like that and you pressed it on them, would it like make them burn the same way that a cross would? Hmm. I don't yeah, think the star of David. Give a fuck. That would be amazing. My thing would be you'd have like a throwing super, stars. A super Hasidic dude with all like yeah. throwing star of David. Of the just, star of David. Oi, oi, oi. They call me the star. David. Oh, yeah. yeah. Poke at that. What's your name? Sydney you Applebaum. <laughs> oh, oh, my so Lord. The, and it's not even gross that, like, I wouldn't be grossed out by getting it all over me. No. But it was getting it in his mouth. Yeah, that's because it's always in his mouth. I would legitimately. Always. I would legitimately throw up. This weird oh, stop we motion. I like this. Stuff like that. It's so- and it's when the one decomposes later too, right? It looks all neat mm-hmm. in, the, in the very end. What a fucking night. Yeah, this is just like literally the place is bleeding now. That so reminds me of like it when the when the thing starts yeah. going. He was so dirty during this too when they would go, uh, when they would travel away from here because I guess like he was not among the people who stayed at the house. Right. Like it was like mainly the crew and stuff. That right. In the house. What the hell? He but, had to sleep out in the woods. I don't know. I don't know. I think there was like a nearby hotel or something like that. But um, uh, he, uh, he, they had to put him in the back of a pickup truck because nobody would let him sit in their car. Because he reeked. He was, he was so just gross and disgusting. And like, there's, and again, there's no place out there to shower or anything like that. So it's not like I think he they could have brought something. Leave. Like, Jesus, man. Yeah. Like, even one of those Literally like, just, bag showers. Yeah. For camping like or something. something. Just, like, Jesus, plan something out here. Well, I think even that point, though, like those things, it's all gravity based. So it's not even like. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I know. So it's not even like your. Um, 
getting any real pressure like blowing water on you so that stuff's probably all stuck to you it probably wouldn't go anywhere uh, you'd God. have to wait until you can get like real soap and like on blow like yeah, it's still pat, like, run some water over pressure now. and yeah it'd be better they brought nothing. some bottles of water or something like, uh, jesus i don't think bot- water came in bottles i know anymore. that's what i was just thinking right when i said it too i was like maybe they didn't even have like, good, that good for par- the 80s that would be why par- now yeah. suddenly we need fucking bottles of water because well, they like, stopped because fucking... they stopped cleaning the water fuck i guess so it's just like well we ruined all the water so now we have to clean it at a facility and put it yeah. in a bottle to yeah. ruin the environment even more nah fuck them <laughs> who needs it yeah yeah we're only killing ducks and turtles we don't need those things those ah are, jesus they're there are, for killing those are dumb things like a big old bruise <laughs> i think the girls are hot when they're demons yeah yeah Ooh. like a lot of oozing festering wounds and High pitched cackling. You see a lot of that in Toronto, man. And they make fun of me and my penis size. Yes. They're constantly pointing down at it. <laughs> Telling me I look like Linda! A, calling me a good little girl. This is you. Tonight yeah. wandering the house. Oh, constantly. Yeah. I wish covered in blood with a gun. Just waiting for one of your family members to jiggle the door handle in terror. Do you think they knew the camera was upside down? They're like, let's just go with it. He's upside down. The camera's right side up. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're fixing it. Look at, like, it's all the movement in this, and I'm almost wondering if they just shot it at a different frame rate or something like that, but they just all have these weird little twitches. Yeah, there's a lot of twitchy, twitchiness. Yeah. The twitchy cam's on full on. Can you change that on the on the camera? You're a you're a, yeah. you're a camera guy. You can shoot. You can put on Twitch mode, right? Sam Raimi mode. Yeah. You can shoot at any frame rate, but it's always going to play back at 24 frames per second. Oh shit! Here so, it comes. Now digitally, you can make it whatever, so it's a lot easier to deal with that stuff. And then they have things like phantom cameras where they shoot a billion frames per second, so you could slow it down to the point. Well, you've seen it like in like if you watch Jackass 3D or something, you see them like doing. Uh, they th- one of them threw like a tennis ball at Wee Man's nuts, and you watch them going like in uber slow mo. Yes. Have you ever seen that one? Yes. Oh, dude, it's th- that was what I liked about that because I'm like they're not just doing their shit again. They have found a new way to be creative about it, like. And it's like using that camera changed everything. Yes, it else. did. Just like, well, because they used it for their big thing in the beginning too, the big yeah. opening sequence, right? Mm-hmm. It was all in slow mo. Yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah, a little creative. Oh, geez, it's like a house. <laughs> oh, you're talking. I was thinking like the uh, the doctor drama. Oh, oh ex- exactly. Like, yes, he's always screaming and looking at his hands. Fucking weirdo. That's what made, yeah, that's what made Cal Penn's character kill himself in that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Here we go. Ashy, House kept ashy, saying he'd swallow my soul. Swallow your soul. Why do people always lean against the boards against the window? Yeah, well, it's so somebody can break through and grab you. Well, it's, but it's literally going like you're making the decision as this person. I need to be as close to getting snatched by the things I don't want snatching me as possible. Like this, I could not get closer to it. You're so terror ridden and yeah. you're not thinking right. You just want to go to sleep. I would be running like strings across every like angle of the house, finding dead center and standing dead center. And spinning. Like, this is literally and spinning constantly. Yeah. This is literally the furthest I can be from anything reaching me. I was like, something. I would needs- do exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, it's just like nothing's like if something breaks through, I'll hear it and I can turn. Oh my god, this reminds me of when he I was like, like hanging out in a fucking baby. apartment building in Toronto. You could literally <laughs> hear the rats crawling through the walls, and it was crazy. Was that the one where you like had to go to the washroom or something like that? And you were trying to. You were telling me a story. Oh no, that was a church. You ended up <laughs> yeah, with the bags yeah. over there. Like, oh fuck yeah. Yeah, I could hear them running in between. I was like, what the fuck is that? And they're like, oh, that's like an army of rats running in between the ceiling that's and the floor so above us. I can't handle And people you can hear them like me. turn direction to at one point because they hit something that they couldn't go past. And I was like, oh, yeah. my God. And people ask me why I wouldn't want to live in um, like Toronto or something like that. And I was like, I just can't deal with that. The, the It's the big city <laughs> things. Ugh. I took much longer than I thought it was going to take. Yeah. <laughs> But it's the big city that looks like the things that capture Sigourney Weaver and Ghostbusters. Yes. It's just really cheap. Like out out the fridge? Yeah. Well, out of her couch and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then the fridge opens. But. um, (laughs) Ooh, I like that. You can see the hose. You can look. You can literally see the hose. I hear. uh, Right there. Yeah. Again, low budget. What the fuck? 350,000 should seem like a lot more money. 
But I guess not, right? When you I make guess it, not. Oh fuck. The big dog's up. Yeah. But I guess once you start having yeah, once you start having bodies and you picture that they it's all kind make of they body. live-ish. Yeah. Yeah, that did look a little they live-ish, didn't it? Oh, pretty close. Nicky Nami coming. We should, they should have a close up of the book going like <sighs> Like blowing, like get out! Who the fires that are like cutting at me? Right, like that would actually be an interesting comedic, bit, yeah. Especially in Evil Dead Two, where if like every now and again he looked at the book and it just would like, what are you looking at? Yeah. So, <laughs> just, oh, oh, here we go. This is never this. Hey, again, we've been mentioning uh, Screwface a lot. This happened to Screwface. Uh, That's horrible. It's a demon. Do they experience pain, or is it just like in Tales from the Crypt? Oh, here we go. Listen, listen. Oh, <laughs> it, it makes like. It literally makes that you're pulling like the stopper out of the jug noise. It goes, Doom. oh, good. I wish God. we could rewind that. But if you're at home watching that movie, re- rewind that to when he pulls the stick out and it literally makes a foom. Yeah, pause now. We'll wait. Yeah, yeah, we'll wait for you. Look, look, look. He's like, oh, fuck, it's getting pretty close. Just kick it in. Now he's getting the idea. Don't stare at it like an asshole. Now he's getting the idea. It's coming to him. The key is you got to have your head on a swivel. You got to be reactionary. You cannot think about anything. If you make a mistake, just go with it. Yeah. (laughs) Just run with it. Figure it out. Roll with the punches. Mm -hmm. Literally. Oh, look, it is on fire. Maybe. No, no, no. Maybe not. A little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. It's made of dried out human flesh. It should be on fire. Oh, buddies, uh, I can't even see here. Oh, I just I just picture how it would feel to be covered in all that shit. Ugh. And I'm so bothered. I'm, b- <laughs> I'm so bothered. Like, well, you know, but you know, Especially you when that- you get, I wonder what they got paid for this. Oh, vir- he got virtually nothing. In fact, it cost him money to make this movie. Oh my God. Sam Raimi's like, kind of right. You got a couple bucks I can borrow. No, what happened was basically, that is essentially pa- what happened. Paying for your own torture. That's essentially what happened. He had to, like, because he was, uh, uh, they were like, struggling to get money together to keep this movie going and they were having to take out like high interest loans and all this stuff and uh and uh, bruce campbell li- literally put his family's like house like his pro his family property on the line oh, they probably love him well he they made him a producer on the film because of it like they were just like they're like you're now money in and stuff like that well that but, was at least nice of him but could you imagine I can see uh, from the story you tell, you'd be like, you, yeah. you gave me that money as a yeah. gift. I don't know. You come on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I didn't, it's not like I asked you for the money or anything. But you can, think that ugh. the Book of the Dead would, wouldn't burn like it's from hell. Yeah, you know if anything, I mean? it's, it would it's, get it's, stronger. Yeah, exactly. It's hell's book. That's what should have happened. You should have thrown it in the fire thinking it was going to kill it, and then it made it stronger. Yeah, if you couldn't, fi- if you can't kill the, if you can't like burn the ro- the one ring in a, in a regular, excuse me, the lava. Place. Yeah. Oh, right here, right here. I like this. I really like this. Yeah. This is very like yeah, this uh, is the, that's like a time lapse uh, in Indiana Jones. Yes. When the when they open the Ark of the Covenant. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, you know what this reminds me of? You can actually look up YouTube videos of this where they do time lapse photography of like a uh, like things decomposing and stuff yeah. like that. And it does look exactly like yeah. This. It's weird. Like it's look at that thing rolling down. Something big old that, goober. Something I don't want to be pr- uh, present. <laughs> Fucking the tongue kills the tongues kill me. But um, the uh, yeah, something that like intrigues me, but I don't really want to see it. They have those body farms uh, in like places when they're like for people who are studying like um, they gotta be a mortician and shit. No, or, no, or, uh, um, like kinda, criminal like CSI right. That's where I was going with next. Like yeah, that, yeah. Right? What, what do they call that? Um, like the CSI forensics. body forensics. Yeah. There you go. And they Ooh, uh, mashed, uh, yeah, crushed up corn and mashed potatoes. Yeah. But literally, like, bought people who donate their bodies to science. They'll just put them out, like, basically outside in the dirt, kind of thing, and they'll let the flies get to them and all that kind of stuff. Oh, God. And then, you ha- and then you'll go out and you're like, "This is what a body looks like after being out here for five days." And it's like, you know, oh, that is... is fucking. And they're real bodies. Yeah, and they're all like real people that bodies. have donated their. Yeah. Whoa! Now I imagine not every person has to experience that like live. I'm sure that a lot of them they've just taken photos Look at that, eh? so you can see. But so like, I guess their bodies are just gateways themselves. If mm-hmm. these demon arms are flying out, this is great. Uh, I feel this like is this, awesome. I feel like this is oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, again, and this, uh, this is movie makes me hungry as fuck, man. Why? Ah. <laughs> uh. I am really hungry. Do you want actually. a Madagascar hissing cockroach? Oh, you're making the pig noises. 
Yeah, that's a go-to. A lot of like things like that. Texas Chainsaw, yeah. yeah. Well, because it's kind of just... Well, might as well join him. Can't beat him, join him, buddy. Well, but he did just beat him. That's the thing. Oh, okay. This well, is then, like well, the... Jesus, that's a bad yeah. advice then. This is it. like the last ditch effort. This would be like if... um like a gang came in and you killed literally everybody in the gang and now the weakest guy's left he's like all right you could be a member of our gang <laughs> yeah yeah there's and nobody left like, but <laughs> yeah it's like i can just blow your fucking head off now you could or you could leave you know yeah, what I'll that was just, a test just, you're in yeah good job yeah way to kill my brother <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah all of them this is a very elaborate test i'm actually the boss yeah. of the whole thing and i set yeah. this up these are just my henchmen very loosely off topic, but the um, no, I'm just I was just thinking, um, the Sons of Anarchy, uh, they're doing that like spin off the Mayans motorcycle club thing, and I was like, do do you think that that's too far away from the original for it to be relevant now? It's kind of like like who gives it like it's better like back call, in the day, but only now they have motorcycles. Yeah, no, but no, what I'm saying, no, it like takes place like kind of concurrent to what's going on or it might they're be a little like bit a of a different prequel, motorcycle gang but it's just the uh, the other motorcycle gang and they're featured in sons of anarchy so oh, you're aware okay of them. so it's like their story yeah it's like their story but it's just like it's been so long now since like that was out like better call Saul came out like shortly after it was a couple years but it was like yeah but like sons of anarchy has been off the air for a while now has it yeah i mean it's been, maybe like, it was very popular and they think that it will uh make some biz but you would think then that they would rush to get the same, like so a couple of seasons pass and then it comes. They're letting the they're letting it the interest you know gather. But to, but like to me that almost the opposite would happen, wouldn't it? Hey, they're coming out with Deadwood. I'm looking forward to it. It's that's, been like, actually that's for and uh Sopranos. Yeah. Oh my god, the Sopranos is back? They're doing a Soprano well, they're doing a Sopranos like mega prequel. So it's gonna like predate. Any oh, it'll of be the, like there. It'll be like Godfather Two, where you go back and see I, no, where it's I, all started. Well, you know, like the grandfather, Junior Soprano, yeah. or whatever. It's gonna be about him as a younger man. Uh, you think you're done, or ashy slashy? So how the last shot? This was oh, the last. There's a couple cabins here. This could be Camp Crystal Lake. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. But uh, how this movie was done, or how this shot was done? Not reverse. This part, no. Um, it's just the very this part right here. They put a camera on a motorcycle and they ran the motorcycle into him. Really? Yep. He broke his ribs. Oh my he, like, God. Just like. Jesus Christ. What the fuck, uh, buddy, Sam Raimi? That's what I'm saying. Is like Dear they could, God. Like, here's here's my thought. Shoot it in slow, shoot yeah, it in slow and speed then and then speed out. it up. Or you could or back. Or even just you, go you real slow and up. fast forward. Both yeah. ways work. Yeah, like. Both ways work. And it's just like you could even take the motorcycle and drive it away from him. It's almost and like shoot it in yeah. reverse. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, to me, it almost seems like it was more work to hurt him. Yes, than it would have Clearly. been to not. It was probably hurt actually the last shot. He's like, let's just get out of here. He, he's, yeah. you know, Sam Raimi's been living in his own little yeah. trailer, and they've been doing. Yeah. Oh, I'm just a bore. Let's get out of here. We're or done. maybe they just get some more uh, money so they could like afford to edit it see joel colwood joel film, assistant film editor, film editor. no yeah. way that's crazy but um fake shemps Man, that's a lot of fake shemps in this yeah. one well, where's the real shemp that's shemp howard by the way. he's the real i shemp. tried to do that thing that he does but it didn't work at all yeah no, i think that was curly the right? shemper no no he would do that like with his like oh uh, i don't remember a lot of shemp so i don't know i liked really joe good. the best curly joe curly fucking joe like uh, oh lord yeah well so tune in next week when we do nothing but three stooges just just the shorts wow we'll just talk do about all the credits you know after uh, sitting through these marvel movies and said jesus that was a breath of fresh well, air what happens is when you have 13 people working on a movie that's how long that credits was are. pretty all right actually that's why like when you and i do something and we make the credits and then it's like written by joe finley and todd murray starring joe finley and todd murray directed by joe finley no and but todd then you murray. gotta just go for it and have like gaffer joe jo gaffer yeah, todd that you know yeah. every everyone that's actually that you would put yeah. in the movie then just our name beside it instead of just yeah. saying we did everything and then like you have the special effects team I mean, you know how that's always gigantic yeah. on these movies. So it'd be Joe Finley, Todd Murray, Joseph Kevin Finley. That's like, right. Daniel exactly. Murray. Like, you damn right. Over and over Baby. again. Um, all right. Well, that is that one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We got one more horror classic for you. Tune in on Halloween, guys. Join us. That's our hint. 
And well, it's not really a hint. Just come on Halloween, you'll see that there's a new episode Enjoy if you subscribe. Us. Which come on, guys, so make sure you're subscribing to us on iTunes and stuff like that. It helps us get seen. It helps Join us get us. featured. Uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so make sure you're doing all that. Enjoy but then us. enjoy your bonus episode. You'll see it. You'll hear it. You'll feel join it. Join us. I think Todd says it right. Join, join we. What? Oh, I didn't jo- say it right. But <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> See, this is this is why we left that line to him because I could fuck it up. Soul. He'll swallow anything if you subscribe. Pretty to Pretty much. That's pretty much. Pretty much how I make my living. I'll swallow a canned chicken. <laughs> Canned yams. Ooh. You want to watch us swallow weird things? Send us money. Yeah. Hey, yeah, that'll be our Patreon. <laughs> you'll get you'll get access to our to our uh, podcast three days earlier, and we'll swallow weird foods more more so. If you send a little more money, we'll try and do it whole. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then if a we car. die, <laughs> and then if we die, you take our place. Exactly. That's the deal. All right. Well. Uh, keep an eye out for that on our Patreon that does not exist that keeps us safe. Uh, yeah. We will see you guys on Halloween. Get dressed up, even if you're just sitting by yourself. That almost, that makes me happier somehow. I'll be dressed up. I'll probably be wearing my Jawa costume again because I'm not I'm buying another too. new costume. I'm going to see you actually. All right, we're going to yeah. dress up. Cool, I like that. All right, buddy. Uh, hey. We'll see you next time. Join us! This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media production. You think it would be scary if it was like that? Hey, join us. Why don't you join the team? Hey, we're demons. You can join us. Like the singing bush. Come around. Join us.